Hi uh, friends, my name is Ritesh Singh and today we are going to learn about the sequence diagram using a star UML. In this presentation, you will learn about the sequence diagram and different notation using the it. So uh, at the end of the presentation, we will learn how to draw the sequence diagram using a star UML. And if you like this, please subscribe my channel, share my channel and press the bell button to get new video. Thank you very much. Hello friends, I am Ritesh here. Today I am going to present about the star email sequence diagram. So course overview, what is sequence diagram? The purpose of the sequence diagram, the sequence diagram example, sequence diagram notation and benefit of the sequence diagram. So what is sequence diagram? A sequence diagram simply depict interaction between object in a sequential order. The purpose of the sequence diagram is UML is to visualize the sequence of the message flow in the system. The sequence diagram shows the interaction between two lifelines as a time order sequence event. A sequence diagram shows an implementation of the scenario in the system. The purpose of sequence diagram. A model high level interaction between active object in the system. Model the interaction between the object instance with, within a collaboration with the realize a use case model the interaction between object with a collaboration that relies an operation either model generic interaction showing all the possible path through the interaction or a specific instance of interaction showing just one path through the interaction sequence diagram example so this is the one of the example of the sequence diagram of the atm machine so first line first is the three three act one is a actor one is a two one is a system the system is a atm machine and bank both make system and this is the account holder is a actor so in a sequence diagram uh, the actor will be the user and the other things will be the systems so here atm machines and the banks these are the system so we will represent actor in this types of notation so in uh, in this slide account holder is a actor so account holder insert a card and the card is going to be information passed to the atm machine so atm machine will pass the information to the bank and bank validate if the card is valid then it will be okay otherwise if it is not valid, then it will give two messages, either card okay it is validated by the bank. If it is again it is okay, then it will return back to the user. Otherwise it will if it is not okay, then it will show the message invalid. If it is so if it if the, if the this this information again passed to the bank, pass and bank will reply validated amount. If it is the okay, then it will give it will give sufficient amount then it will uh, be the depend, depends uh, depends the cash otherwise it will again uh, shows the message return the message in sufficient amount mm -hmm. uh, if it is okay then it depends the cash dip, and the cash will, would be depends and in, in in this way the whole process will complete of the atm system so this is the example of the ATM system of the how to make the sequence diagram. Sequence diagram notation. So there there is a, so many notation in the sequence diagram. First is actor, a types of role played by the entity that interact with the subject. Example by exchanging the signal and data. External to the subject in the sense that the instance of the actor is not a part of the instance of the corresponding subject represent the role play in the human user external hardware other so the actor is the external things and so it is represented by the if it is external thing this is represented by the actor and the system is represented by the other notation sequence diagram notation note that an actor does not necessarily represent a specific physical entity but merely particular role of some entity a person may play the role of several different actor and conversely a given actor may be played by the multiple different person 
another notation is called lifeline. A lifeline represent an individual participant in the interaction. So this is the notation of lifeline. Activation in the rectangle on the lifeline represent the period during which an element is performing operation. The top of the button of the rectangle align with the initiations and complete the time respectively. So this is interaction. Call message. A message defined in a particular communication between the line life life line of the interaction. A call message is a link of the message that represents an invocation of operation in the target line. So this is the example of the message. Return message. So the message defined in the particular communication between the lifeline and the interaction. The return message is the kinds of the message that represent the past information back to the caller to the correspondent form of the message. This is, this is the dotted error is a notion of return message. Self message, this one is the self message. And message define the particular communication between lifeline of the interaction. The self message, the kinds of message that represent the you know, invocations of message of the same li lifeline. Recursive message. A message defined in a particular communication between lifeline of an interaction. The recursive message is a kind of message that represents the invocation of the message of the same lifeline. It is target to an activation, to the top of the activation. Therefore, message will invoke the form. It can call itself. Create message. A message defined in the particular communication between the lifeline of interaction. A create message is a kind of message that represents the instantiations of the target lifeline. Destroyed message. A message defined in a particular communication between lifeline of interaction. A destroyed message is a kind of message that represents the request of destroyed the lifeline of the target line. Duration message. A message defined in the particular communication between the lifeline of interaction. The duration message shows the distance between two time instance for the message interaction. Note. A note or comment gives the ability to attach various remarks to the element. A note, a comment carry no semantic force, but they may contain information that is useful to modeler. Benefit of sequence diagram. A sequence diagram are used to explore any real applications of the system. A sequence diagram are used to represent message flow from one object to another object. A sequence diagram is easier to maintain. A sequence diagram is easier to generate. A sequence diagram can be easily updated according to the change within the system. A sequence diagram allows reverse as well as forward engineering. Thank you very much. <coughs>
a DM and and another lifeline become bank. So two lifeline. So two lifeline is there. So I have to pass the message. So first I have to pass the pass the account holder insert insert card to the ATM machine so just withdraw the insert card one message and this is this message name is insert card okay so after inserting card the message sent to bank So pass the card information. Pass card info. Okay. Okay. So pass the card info. So bank will either the card is valid or it would be invalid. So it will return two messages. One is called So returning message reply message will go for the card validate card validate so here we do the message called card card validate validate card validate and the card validate and in the this guard message it would be not okay not okay so this message will be not okay if it is not okay the message will be thrown in valid card so we just drag a little bit more so we just drag a little bit more so that we have will get the space to write in the proper message so now again the return message so invalid card the message will be invalid in valid card invalid card okay Invalid card. So this is the insert card. Then the card pass to the card info. This will return a card validation message. If it is not okay, it is invalid card. If it is okay, the other message may be the card will fall. It's okay. It will fall through. It is called. So card valid card valid C valid this time so we give this message a 
guard guard message valid okay valid 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 so card validated then card here card validated <coughs> so in the card validated and also put card validated not okay or it is not valid if it's valid it will give another return message valid card Re request for pin so it will request for message will request for When short card, card will pass to the card info, it will validate the card, it will get card, if the card is valid, if card invalidate, it will give the message invalid card, if the card is okay, it will give the valid card message, after that, another message will come, request for PIN request for pin so just create reply message and go for here and pass the value to request for pin uh, to request for pin okay so request for pin so user will so this is the one scenario is finished now to go for the another scenario and again we have to create a message and user will send the another message for pin entered so pin and TR. pin entered again the same thing will happen if the pin entered the message go for the pin validation pass the info pass the pin info pass in info again the two thing will happen when entered pass the pin info pass in info little bit below pass pin info 
again it will reply to the user pin validated pin validated and card not okay not okay not okay not okay then then not okay then invalid pin reply the message and dialect pin or another message maybe another reply maybe invalidate in validated and that is valid if the valid message is pin is valid then request for request for mm -hmm. valid pin Validated word valid so if the pin is valid and then reply message request for amount Then another message from the client to ATM is amount request amount for the amount for withdraw amount for the while with withdraw. Then then pass amount information to bank. Oh. 
pass and want info. P A pass amount info. Okay. So again the bank will reply valid M valid amount. Amount amount validated validated amount validated and guard message insufficient balance in in S U double F I C I is insufficient amount insufficient balance insufficient balance okay insufficient balance then Insufficient, insufficient amount. Insufficient amount. Or Uh, C I N is sufficient B balance if there is sufficient balance then if there is sufficient balance then the ATM will send the self message self message cash this works. Dispense cash dispense C A S H cash dispense cash dispense
cash dispense okay so this is all about so we do we draw the actors and we draw the system atm and bank and we pass insert the card to the atm the atm will pass the information to bank card information is validated either it is not okay the invalid card will be okay we will request for the pin the account holder will enter the pin the pin info passed to the bank again it is not okay then invalid pin will message be returned if it is valid it is request for amount again the amount will request paid by the account holder to bank bank will validate the amount if there is sufficient balance it will dispense the cash if it is not sufficient amount it will throw the insufficient amount either so in this way we draw the so this is the recursive message for dispensing account because atm itself valid if the if the amount is valid is not going to ask to the account for the directly with uh, so send the message so cash dispense is a recursive self message self message notation with declare here so for a self message atm will throw the money so this is all about the star uml sequence diagram so please guys if you like it just share and like my channel subscribe my channel thank you very much today i hope you enjoy this